If you haven't received your second stimulus check yet, the IRS says don't hold your breath. ABC 21's Karen Rose talked with a mom of four who's still waiting for hers. When you get behind, um, it's very hard to get caught back up. Stay at home mom of four Renee Dickty has been waiting for a second stimulus check worth $3,600 that she says would help her family enormously. Well, it's been a real struggle just to be able to pay rent and keep up on utilities and groceries. So I was really looking forward to this money to be able to give us a little bit of leeway so we don't have to struggle um, day to day. Her first stimulus check was direct deposited in her bank account. Then, like millions of other Americans, she learned the IRS deposited the second check in that account, even though she had closed it and couldn't find a way to update that information with the IRS. It seems like it should have been much easier to be able to do that. Like they should have had some way to do it. I mean, you can file taxes online and do everything else online, but you can't update your bank information. That means she may have to wait to get the money as a credit on her taxes instead of in a check right now. Oh my, this is a mess. Dory Miller of Liberty Tax Service says that's the latest plan the IRS is offering Americans right now because time is running out for the agency to send the remaining $600 checks before needing to switch to processing tax returns. She says the IRS may still issue EIP cards or get you a check, but says if you don't receive anything by the end of this month, you'll likely only see the stimulus money reconciled on your 2020 tax return. It will go as a refundable credit on your tax return. So that being said, if you didn't get your $600 stimulus and your refund was $2,000, now your refund will be $2,600. But that won't provide the immediate relief Dickty was hoping for. Instead of having some leeway between now and then, um, it's going to continue to be stressful and a struggle to figure out how to afford everything. Whereas if we would have had it now, it, it would have uh, been a lot easier for all of us. Miller says Liberty Tax and other tax service providers are hoping to offer no interest advances of five to eight hundred dollars on people's tax refunds in order to help as many people as possible. But those programs aren't in place yet. Corinne Rose, ABC 21.